Hey, this is Jim. Welcome to Silent Sales Machine Radio. I've got some guests today that you're going to enjoy getting to know with me. It's Kip and Wendy Sykes. And they've been in our community for a couple of years. Their business has rocketed. And they started off with another selling concept. And it was going okay. They were scanning barcodes and flipping product on Amazon, which is good. And they actually built it up to a quarter million dollar business. They were working really hard to do that. But as you'll hear from Kip, sometimes he'd come home and the car would be empty. No inventory. And that's, that's disheartening. Well, we don't teach those strategies here. The Proven Amazon course was their key to opening up an entirely new strategy where they actually never come home with an empty car when they source. And they're sourcing some other creative ways. They're looking to get into private label. They're about to become our next coaching students, they said. They're excited to check into that. But just the Proven Amazon course itself, they've jumped into some strategies that they're going to share today. And their business should get up well over $750,000 this year. They're well on the course to that. It's a very realistic goal at this point. So their business has taken off like a rocket ship. They're going to discuss what's caused that to happen. And this is happening to a lot of sellers in our community right now because month after month, online sales are increasing at such a rapid pace due to the time that we live in, right? You got multiple factors keeping people at home right now. You got murder hornets. Uh, you got the heat. It's the middle of a hot summer. You've got the pandemic, of course. You've got in different cities, you know, some of the some of the different activities in the streets that are making people nervous and the, some of the writing and different things going on. So people are staying home and shopping a whole lot more. So this isn't a show about the negatives. This is a show about the positives, the opportunities, the way that you can continue to serve. Even when the world's going a little crazy, there's people doing really, really well, serving well, putting money in the bank, growing incredible businesses, hiring, and I'm excited for the future. And I hope you're there with me. And I want to introduce you to a really cool couple. They're going to spend some time telling us about who they are. And they're going to tell us a little bit about their Amazon business journey before they met us. And then after they met us through the Proven Amazon course, where they are now and some really great tips for growing your business towards the end of the show today. I hope you really enjoy it. God bless you, Business Building Warrior. Let's get Kip and Wendy on the line. I'm excited to introduce you. So Wendy and Kip, welcome to the show. Great to have you guys here. Hey, it's great Thank to be you. here. Thanks for joining us. Hey, I'd love to hear your story. I don't know a whole lot about you guys. So I'm just going to turn it over to you. And you know, let's hear who, who we have on the show today. And we'll hear a little bit about you and your business. And uh, talk have, us through yeah. the the Amazon journey, you joined our community at what point and what did you do at that point and, and what was your business angle? What was your business strategy? Yeah. So when we first started, um, we thought we were going into private label. That was kind of what we were encouraged um, to learn and do. And Kip spent hundreds of hours researching products um, online, sourced from other countries here in the US. And we actually did purchase um, a, a product had it private labeled, shipped it, you know, sent it in, but really didn't know how to do that. We didn't know how to market it, how to advertise it. Um, we didn't know the ins and outs of all that. That was one of the portions of our training that we didn't get when the company mm -hmm. closed down. And so my business, my floral business was still going at this time when we first started. And so that was creating an income, but we certainly weren't going to get rich by it. And while Kip was trying to build the Amazon, we realized private label maybe was, we, we were a little premature and not knowing what we were doing. And that we remembered from our training that retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, at least was a little quicker to, ca you know, to cash flow, a right. little less cash flow needed, and a little quicker to um, return that investment. So we started focusing on that. And Kip spent, again, while I was still working my business, spent hours searching for products, re retail arbitrage, kind of the old fashioned way, I guess. Okay. Um, Is this after he, you became students of the Proven Amazon course? Um, no. So before, so this is all in the very beginning. This is all still before. Okay. Yeah. Because very seldom would we coach anyone into private label as the first, right? You probably right. right. That now. <laughs> oh, yes. And, oh, yes. <laughs> Spending hours and hours and hours scanning barcodes isn't anything we teach around here either. You can do a lot of very effective sourcing with right, scanning many right. barcodes. It, I, right. And we're getting to the good part of that story because I don't remember what your story was exactly. Absolutely. 
Yes. So even before we took the other course, we had gone to a friend that we knew did Amazon and asked him for some input. Um, you know, could this course, is it legitimate? And do you think it's worth the money we're investing, et cetera? And he didn't know of that particular company, but said, yes, I definitely recommend training. And so we dove in and did that. Long story short, um, after they went out of business, we realized, okay, we needed to find another source, another coaching team or another um, support group. And so he had actually heard of you guys and recommended it. But we were in the midst of building our business, you know, busy with family. We also decided to sell the house. And so we were trying to get our home ready to sell, which is a full-time job in itself. I was now closing down my floral business so we could invest our time full-time into this together. All of that to say, I had the link to the Facebook group. I had a link to your system, but it just kind of sat on the shelf, not knowing how much we really needed it. And so we did fairly well the first year and a half, two years, just making it up as we went, learning as we went, retail arbitrage. And then when we finally got to Idaho and said, we need a new strategy, we need to expand, we need to go beyond the status quo of what we've done the last two years just getting into the Facebook group was eye-opening and seeing the encouragement and how, how many success stories there were. And then once we started, we started little bits. Um, I bought the replens program and then I bought the, the videos from the conference um, before mm-hmm. I realized what PAC was. I thought I was buying PAC when I was buying the, the videos from the conference. And we had only watched a couple and each one was like a layer of an onion, you know, unraveling. We just, sure. I said, did you hear that? Cause we knew this, but we didn't know that. And it just opened our eyes to a whole new world of possibilities. And I think that gave us the encouragement, um, in the midst of this pandemic yeah. and, um, craziness in March and April to just go to the limits, go, you know, push the boundaries and not give up. So for me, I- Initially, I was just going and scanning the barcodes in stores and trying to see what I could come up with. And, you know, we did it somewhat okay with that, but I had no idea what I was doing. And then when we started listening to the course, um, the PAC course, all of a sudden we realized, oh my goodness, you know, rather than just scanning a barcode, we can start, we should start typing in, you know, the particular name of, of the product that we're looking for. That's right. And all of a sudden, it opened the door dramatically, and we started finding product like we never had before. Yeah. And it just started exploding compared to where we were before. And so, you know, basically, that's that's the thing. Um, during, so, that, so really, a lot of that process just started, you know, a few months ago. But during the, um, the beginning of the coronavirus episode... Um, we went from pretty much everything being fulfilled by Amazon to all of a sudden probably 80 plus percent of everything we were doing was fulfilled by merchant because we couldn't send things into Amazon. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Jeff Bezos should add all of us to his Christmas card list this year, huh? Because (laughs) their warehouses warehouses couldn't keep up. Uh, You know, for the listeners who don't know what they're talking about right now, you know, the FBA is where Amazon does the shipping. Well, FBM yeah. or Merchant Fulfill MF, that's where we do the that's when we do the fulfillment. We pull it out of our garage and we ship it to the customer as it sells. Well, there was a whole lot of that going on the past few months as Amazon was playing catch up due to just the over. They had to hire two hundred thousand people in three months or something to catch up with the volume of demand, and they just right. couldn't get stuff rocking through the system fast enough. So they relied very heavily on the third party sellers. That's us to listen to this podcast and hang out in our Facebook group. And uh, yeah. then those who had started as recently as a couple weeks out were finding themselves ramped up into a storm. And from my vantage point, we're several months in now, it's still rocking. The, the line yeah. is rocketing up to the right on this thing. Uh, as far as people are shopping online, you know, for any, any yeah. number of reasons, you know, pick your five favorite random headlines all of those add up to people would rather just kind of stay home and shop online if they need stuff. And we are benefiting from that trend uh, as suppliers, Amazon's store shelves, if you were their virtual store shelves, that's the opportunity in a nutshell. And it's never been better. So it sounds like you guys have kind of enjoyed the rocket ship so far, but from my vantage point, 
you know, we've only lifted about 10 feet off the launch pad from where we were, say, six months ago. <laughs> and this right. rocket is just heading up. Uh, I think this Q4 is going to be nuts. The, the amount of people. Last year, about 12% of all shopping for Christmas was done online. I think it's going to be close right. to twice or more than that this year. Well, Imagine especially with all of... Doubling online shopping for it, for the Christmas season. It's going to be insane. But yeah, keep the story going. I just thought I'd drop in a little nugget of my perspective on you know what I see happening and playing out right now. But, uh, keep the story going. So instead of getting barcodes, you started doing the replan strategy. And throw some numbers in there too, if you're comfortable, whatever you're comfortable with. You know, I don't like to put too much pressure on people on that point, but you know, so we can get a perspective of what it was like before and then what happened. Years. Yeah, sorry about that. Over the past couple of years, probably the, the best situation we had on any particular month was maybe thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars in sales. And we were very happy with that. And, you know, it was, but most of our sales were less than that on a monthly basis. Mm. And to continue on, we, you know, and to do well financially, we knew we needed greater um, input revenue. And revenue on that. And so during this time period, when we started expanding, we increased, um, we had all of a sudden, we had a month where we were shooting for, you know, 30,000 and we hit 40,000. And we were like, okay, this is good. This is what we need. And then the very next month, we hit over 80, we had about $85,000 in revenue. And um, it was wow, like, you okay, guys went so from 35, 30, 35 to 80, like in one month. Yeah. With, with what? What was the key? What were the keys there? Well, I think a couple of things. One was the pandemic and people, more people were shopping online. Sure, um, but you we, had to be ready with the inventory too. Right. right. So anything that we weren't able to send in to Amazon because of the um, limitations, we decided, okay, we have all this inventory to sell. We need to, we need to switch to merchant. Um, and we're, and you know, we immediately went into ramping up ready for that. Um, we have an advantage over maybe some sellers. We have, um, flight miles through my daughter who works for an airline. Mm -hmm. And so we're able to travel. And, um, we also, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing to say, but we weren't afraid to go out and shop. We weren't afraid to go out and source. I know there are some who were, who were being very, very cautious because of the pandemic. Absolutely. Um, no, we weren't being cautious. And there, it, you know, for the record, there were some counties of the United States where there were zero reported cases. <laughs> and yes. zero, it's like, you get out in the middle of nowhere land on some of these, you know, you guys said Idaho, there's not a whole lot of bustling metropolitan area to, areas that I recall. Uh, you can get kind of removed from from crowds pretty fast. A uh, place like that. Right. So you guys kind of had a bit of an advantage where you could get out, and um, it was yeah. it was similar here, the more rural areas. Yeah, it was pretty quiet, and people kind of made, kept going to the store and kept their distance a little bit. But the opportunity was there, and and we're serving right. then those people who are crammed into cities where everyone's staying in their apartment, ordering DoorDash and Amazon Prime. We're serving right. them from our right. places of safety. I mean that's literally what got us through those three months. And when we look back over our shoulder, I think history will record. Thank God we weren't all New York, <laughs> right? Right. Um, yes. right. But, and, and those of us who kind of lived out, you know, with the open skies areas of the country, we were able to, to supply and support with the help of Amazon yeah. and get our, get our economy through that time. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't have any problem with you saying that because that's what just happened. <laughs> and anyone who's in denial of that... <laughs> Maybe you have a better plan. Please write us. <laughs> yeah. so. Well, I think the other thing we did was we realized, okay, beyond the quote unquote essentials, the, the face masks and the sanitizer and toilet paper, what other things are people needing? And we, we did a switch to grocery. We mm -hmm. added a ton of grocery to our inventory. And that's something that we've kind of stayed away from before. Um, sure. We've looked at a few products here and there, some gourmet food items that have done well, but grocery was certainly not um, a big part of it. And I'd say during this during this rocket launch, it was at least fifty percent or more. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, definitely try to try to think of essentials and and items that definitely were. Well, hot. And, and I think it's going to take a year, maybe two or three years, for the supply chain. And the, the whole, the way we shop for food, for it to adjust to the new way that people want to buy their groceries and do their shopping. 
it, now's not the time to open a small corner grocery store, if you know what I'm saying. You don't want to be in that. Right. Now's the time to be figuring out a way to connect with wholesalers who used to supply food to those stores that are now going to be hurting even after life returns to normal and the, you know, the, the murder hornets are gone and the riots are over and the pandemic is slowed you know, and we're all back to normal. It's still going to be a new version of how people like to shop. And that's going to take right. a couple of years to shake out. There's a two to three window, in my opinion, I'm forecasting a little bit for this whole thing to shake out. It's going to take two to three years before it kind of levels back out. And it won't be as easy as just sourcing pretty much whatever foods you can get and getting approved and flipping them onto Amazon and you know making a decent margin for the convenience of delivery. But right. there's 80 million baby boomers in this country and you won't find any of them that are saying, yeah, pretty much shop the way I always did. Most of them have now transitioned at least to some degree to a significant more online shopping than they were before. And that's just that demographic. Everyone else is there too. So yeah, huge opportunities. And it sounds like you guys came in at the beginning of it. Um, I see it ramping up. Yeah. Having the majority of our adult children in Southern California and Chicago, two areas that were you know, still under partial lockdown, um, we took some cues from them, you know, the fact that they're doing Instacart and yeah, even, even when they would normally go to the store, they've been shopping online sure. for everything on a regular basis. Um, and so we said, okay, what are you ordering? What, what do you need? What, what, what do you not have in your pantry that we can supply for you? That's because, how you did your you, research. Yeah. A lot, some of it for sure. That's cool. But the difference, the difference for, for me in, in learning through the course, just how to do a better job at, at finding um, pro- sor- sourcing products in retail arbitrage. I to be able to go out now and not come home with nothing, you know, and and all of a sudden I come home <laughs> and my we have a, a minivan and sometimes I literally will come home and it is completely full from top to bottom. <laughs> yeah, and we're ready to go with the new products that we find. People we've trained on how to arbitrage retail, you don't come back home on an empty trip ever. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible. Maybe yeah. the first trip, how, <laughs> excuse me, you might come back with you know, a little bit of a thin load, but then you're buying the same things over and over again. And you can hand that list to your shopper, pay them to go do it. It's the same stuff right. over, and over again. And that's the beauty of this model is that's what replenishable means. It doesn't mean the same people are going to be ordering some people think, oh, they're going to be ordering the same vitamins from me every month. And I'm going to private label. That's my replenishable. No, it's predictably selling uh, inventory. It just sells at a nice flat line clip. You know, you're going to sell 50 to 60 units of this item. So you go source as much as you need every month. Uh, it's a beautiful right. model. I'm glad you guys are, are rocking it. That was, you picked up the replenishable skills from the proven Amazon course, correct? Yeah. The other skills you picked up, but from that course, any other ways you adjusted your business or anything else that uh, I'm kind of looking for maybe some tips that you might share for the other listeners today who are at a similar place or they're trying to convince themselves that this is legitimate um, or they're looking for ways to grow the business. And maybe they're scanning barcodes right now and we're saying, hey, you don't have to do that. <laughs> With a few hours of training, we can turn you into a ninja on this stuff and you don't have to scan <laughs> more barcodes. Uh, you feel yeah. free to if you'd like and you may find some golden nuggets laying around, but you don't have to do it that way. You don't have to come home with an empty car. I love how you put that, Kip. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, we kind of joke our, the differences in our personality. Kip is a little more cautious. He likes to do the research. He would usually get one item, bring it home, research it to death, I'd say. And I, I was the, it's time to pull the trigger person. Mm-hmm. I'm the pull the trigger. Like, come on, why not take a risk? And so in our shopping, we go often together and it's, we, it's kind of an inside joke. I tell him how many are you going to get? And he'll say three or four. I say, no, how many are you going to get? And he'll say all of them. <laughs> and That's so great. we've learned, you know, to, to work with each other and play with each other in our differences and our strengths. And um, from the course, I would say we're still going through it. We haven't gone through the whole thing, but that's the beauty of it. We are forever learners. We realized even two years ago, what we learned was not everything. And as we've been learning along the way, we knew there was more out there. And so we are excited actually to continue to dive into the PAC course and learn new things. Yeah, One it's of always the, expanding. Um, you mentioned that yeah. you purchased the live event videos. Like when we have a live event, 
we'll wait several months, uh, get the videos edited and make sure everybody uh, who, who had the benefit of attending it live has taken advantage of the videos and they get it immediately. But then we'll add it into the Proven Amazon course. So that way you can right. get all the training, anything that we ever do that has anything to do with Amazon, it goes in there. Always purging up the old. That's yeah. really helpful for me as well. Yeah. Adding in new content. So yeah, that's cool. So yeah, there's, there's always more to learn. It's constantly expanding. Um, well, yeah, and you guys could open the doors to uh, you having your own brand, anything. Because I know that's where you guys kind of started. And you may be approaching that time in your journey now where you understand how the game is played enough to start to do a little bit more serious discussion on that front. Any plans? Yeah, absolutely. We're, uh, you know, our, our hope is to get some coaching, kind of go down that line now uh, with uh, Proved an Amazon course and, and just some, some of the coach, coaches that you have um, and see if we can get some, some help to kind of make, be able to take that off on that. We definitely have a couple ideas um, that we have been there for quite a while. We think they'd be good, but we just didn't know where to go. So, well, um, one of the things, the if, thing, if I was coaching sorry. you before we move on, don't lose that thought. You got it, Kip? I don't want to make you lose it. <laughs> one yeah, of the things we'll teach you with private label coaching, one of the things I'd encourage is test small. It's not about, yeah. like that other course you mentioned earlier on, they had you right. researching for days, weeks. It could yeah. turn into months. And then you're like, Right. Okay, you nervously pull the trigger and buy 10,000 units because I did my research. We never do that to you. It's test yeah. really small, test super small and start testing right now today. Five bucks, 10 bucks, get a sample unit, right? I mean, it's, it's uh, a matter of testing your way into success, not using expensive tools and, you know, monitoring the keyword clicks of different, you know, with, with different expensive monthly paid tools. You don't need to do that. You can just test. And some of the most right. powerful private label brands that have ever been emerged from our community, just a matter of testing small and discovering them, which is just one strategy. But just keep that in mind as you go down that road. That's, that's some pretty solid advice. It keeps you from, one of the things I always like to promise is you're never going to have to write a big check and hope it works out if you go through our training. That's not a part of what we yeah. do. I think we've heard that for sure which gets us very excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, speaking of the big check, I mean, it, it used to be that our mindset was, well, let's buy a product that will be in Amazon up to three months and hopefully sell, you know? Now it's like... If it can't sell in a week, we don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> let's get it in there, get, get it sold quickly and then get new product in, you know? And how so, many products um, would, do you guys have in inventory right now? ASINs. Uh, about 350. 350, Something. approximately different products. And they're all moving yeah. pretty well. Or you kick them to the curb. Right. Yeah, yeah. There's some that, that are that way, but most of them are doing pretty well. But yeah, it's, uh, there are definitely some that, that you know, are, are really taken off. And, and we have some new ones that, we are, that we're looking at right now. So yeah. one of the things that, that we have just stepped into as a result of all this is to, we're, we're looking to hire some staff to help to do the the sourcing. dirty work the sort you know well so we can do more sourcing and so forth but just to do the the labeling and the um you know all, all the the boxing and everything else and, and shipping so that we can focus on some of the more important things because we spend way too much time just the two of us on just putting all that stuff together and getting it into Amazon or shipping it out individually to different customers Beautiful. and I'm sure you're probably thinking a handful of thoughts one is how blessed am I to get to do this with my spouse. <laughs> but the other one is, couldn't we be paying someone about 12 bucks an hour to do this while we're out there making a bunch more money, right? I mean, that's got to float yeah. through from time to time, that's right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. After we shipped probably close to 3,000 or more items just in the beginning of April, I said to him, this is not sustainable, just the two of us. As hard as we're willing to work, this is going to kill us at our age. It's time to go to the next level and yeah. start hiring some, some part-time help yep. for sure. It's yeah. good to feel that pain and go through it for a bit. But um, yeah, I would, I would encourage you guys, it's more than time to do that. Yeah. And yeah. you'll find yourself thinking, because one of the things I think we think as entrepreneurs sometimes is, ah, oh, I would hire somebody, but ah, oh, does he take in the time to train them and get them up to speed? And oh my goodness, I can't stop. I can't do it. But here's what happens. They're better at it than you are about six year, about six <laughs> hours in. Oh, right. Exactly. Like, they know everything they need to know. And it took me like eight hours total training over the course of, you know, three days. 
and they took off day one and they just had to be tweaked. Yeah. And, and you'll wonder why didn't I do this sooner? Because we like to control yeah. all the, all the uh, moving parts, but yeah, yeah. You guys, it's more than time to do that. And you could add another, you know, 50% to your business almost right off the bat that way. That's what we're counting on. I think that would be easy to do that. We're, we are definitely looking, we, we really think that we'll hit close to, to by the end of the year, we, that we could hit 750,000 based on where we're going right now, which is huge compared to That's where we've been in the past. Seven fifty. About it's a great goal. Yeah. Great. What, what, what margins are you looking at? Well, he likes to say 20 to 25. I say, no, I want 30 to 40. <laughs> so that's the other thing I think we've gotten much better at is we were willing to settle for products that had a maybe 20, 25% ROI. And we, we really don't settle for that anymore. We, we look for items that we can get 75 to 100% or more ROI. Um, and so I think that's something you know, we'd like to learn to duplicate with others and not only sourcing what we have found, but maybe even, you know, have people out there scouting for us as well. And, and being able to duplicate that, being able to train that in somebody. So, and we have an accountant now that understands Amazon as well. So that's helpful as well too, so that we can make sure we're doing things the right way on the financial end of things. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. That's one of the best investments you can make. A good accountant more than pays for themselves every time. So. Wow. Sure. Well, th- this is really cool getting to know you guys, getting to know your business. Oh, I just had a little guest walk into my office, my dog. You can't quite see him. He's just off the bottom of the screen. <laughs> He's keeping an eye on the uh, Amazon delivery guy actually right now. So <laughs> that would explain the barking. Um, yeah, we were worried our gardener would come. <laughs> oh, you know, it, it happens. This podcast, we just kind of roll with it, you know, kids, dogs, deliveries. Uh, but no, what other lessons might you have as we start to, to land this episode? You've got, you guys have an incredible story and yeah, I love getting to know you guys and hearing you share. Uh, anything we left out, anything that you might tell, for example, someone who's considering like, is this legitimate? Should I do this? Mm-hmm. I would like to give a little shout out to people who are kind of in that, coming from that angle on this. Like, oh, this is just another business opportunity. I don't know, maybe work for them. Doesn't mean it will for me. Talk to those people for a minute if you would. I know it's kind of out of the blue, but you know, what would you say to them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, first, it's legitimate. Uh, it is absolutely possible. I'd say from where we started growing it from the ground up, we never imagined in two years we'd be, our first year, we did 221000 in sales, which blew us away. And then the next year, we did about 285, 287, something like that. And so to be on target, you know, to be close to a million this year, um, it is possible. It's, I think, it's about the attitude. If you mm. think you can do it, you probably can. If you don't think you can do it, then you probably won't succeed in it. Um, like any, any task or job. I think going through our remarriage, we did a lot of education on you know, marriage education and training before we got married. And that kind of built a foundation, most everything else that we do. What we learned from that was so critical and so valuable to our marriage and to our relationships within our family, our children, that this business is the same. We want to not only get the education and build on that foundation, but then be able to take that and teach other people, you know, what we've learned, help them to overcome some of the hurdles we've hit along the way. Um, We've always believed in the pay it forward and willing to share our story, you know, in order to help someone else. So that's what we love about the community. Probably more than anything is just that, that willingness to help other people. It's very, open. Um, it's very open-handed. I, yes. I've never seen anything like our Facebook group. Never. Right. Online, anywhere. We, just no, anybody 24 hours a day around the world, helping each other out, encouraging each other. And we, we really try to foster a, um, just a, a spirit of open-handed sharing. Success is something we can all have as much as we want of. We're not among competitors. We're among people who are cheering you on, rooting for you. And, and yeah. uh, we love helping solve those little challenges that, that come along. Uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing like it out there, that's for sure, that I've ever seen. And yeah. uh, you guys are a part of it. Yeah, any other advice, Kip? Anything from you for, for maybe the skeptic? Well, just uh, being able to... to Get the train as as you mentioned. I, I think not being if you we've got some great training here 
Um, and it really makes a big difference. Trying to do it just on your own, you can, you know, you'll, you'll make some sales, but, uh, but getting the training and learning these, you know, little simple little concepts on how to go about and do things the right way um, and not being afraid to do that, it, it makes all the difference in the world. And, and in, we, we literally went, have been able to jump from a s- small little business to something much larger. And, and it's all a result of, of the training. So yeah. I just would encourage people to get in there and you don't have to go through every single episode of the training, just stay to take one start. at a time and use what's in front of you and go after it and then come back and learn more. That's what's great about this training. It's, you don't have to go through the whole thing and then go, okay, what do I have to remember? You know, it's there. You can go back to it. You can listen to the same, um, same, uh, information over and over again, because it's there for you to be able to do that. We and so use a, uh, a just in time concept for yeah. education instead of just in case. You know, we were all raised in a just in case education environment, meaning we're going to teach you a whole bunch of stuff just in case you need it someday. Right. Yeah. That's what we all associate with an education. Like you learn, 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 days turn into weeks, turn into months, turn into years, you've been learning. And now, just in case you might need some of all that stuff we stuffed in your head, now go do it. Like that, that's not how it works online. Now it's, it's just in time. It's like, hey, what am I going to do tomorrow? Well, I'm going to go find a bunch of stuff that I can sell and make a profit for. I'm going to fill my car with it. What information do I need? Here's the information you need. Let's go through it. Now we're ready to expand. We want to add to our team. We want to hire some help. We want to you know, go from 250 a year to 770 a year. What's my course? You know, what do I need now? Right? So we we give you what you need as you need it. And that's that's I'm glad you said that because that is a that's a big achievement. And it's not just one model that we teach. It's all the different models: wholesale, private label, online shopping, retail sourcing. Uh, partnerships, which is another one that you guys could very easily get into with as hot as grocery is, find somebody who has a grocery item that's not on Amazon yet. You've just made a bunch of money with them and and you get a commission and they've got their own Amazon account. That's a module inside the course, how to do it, how to set up the arrangement, the agreement. You guys are more than positioned for that. You could say, hey, we've been doing Amazon for for a little while now. If you want us to uh, help you move some more of your product, Sell it online for commission, commission only sales rep. It's a beautiful, beautiful model. Yeah. Uh, well, you guys are- the name you Go chose ahead. for the course is perfect. The proven Amazon course. It has been proven by you know all of those who have gone before us, and I think what we've already seen, knowing what we know for two and a half years of selling, it's like yeah, this is proven. We've tried this and it works, and now we're going to go to the next level. So it's yeah, you picked the great name. Oh, thank you for that. It's a bold mm-hmm. name for sure, but it's a name. The, the simple challenge is making sure that before you introduce a new concept, we actually do test it out. And it's not just one person. Like we've, we've got a good handful of, of concepts right now. They're in the testing mode, meaning one person doing it and it's working good. And now we're in the process of trying to teach five or six other people that don't know them. And you know, it's not, not, you're not teaching your brother who lives with you. You're teaching someone you've never met. And if it works for them and we can do this two, three, four times, now we got something and that's when yeah. we call it proven because it's been tested and, and we've, you know, put it out there mm-hmm. in a very cautious way uh, and it gets added in. So I'm very, yeah, I'm very proud of the track record of the course. It's been, it's been the slow growth way to succeed. There's a reason why that company that you went to, they went out of business teaching one strategy, maybe good people, who knows what the circumstances were, Yeah, um, you know, no, no business lasts forever, but We've been doing this, we've been coaching for over 15 years and still cranking out success stories because we're careful about what we teach and we work with you till you succeed. So you guys would love our coaching, uh, the listeners and you guys here on the show today. If, if it's something you want to investigate and check out, you got some incredible coaches running great businesses. But yeah. well, any other last lessons? Thank you for encouraging the skeptics. Appreciate that. Any other last lessons, maybe for the other Amazon sellers or any tips or things that you've run into that you think might help boost their business? Not to put you on the spot, but just wondering, you know, if, if we were brainstorming some creative strategies, maybe that you guys encountered that, that might help me if I'm a seller. Something hmm. that you do. Anything pops to mind? It's okay if not. The thing that comes to mind is never stop learning. 
you know, mm. we, we found a system that worked for us. We got really good at it, scanning barcodes. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. And we decided that's not enough. You know, we don't want to just stop at that. We don't, we, we decided we needed to keep learning and, and yeah. sought out this route. And so never stop learning, you know, be, be open to change, be willing to pivot. That was, that was the key for us these last couple of months. Be willing, be willing to pivot. And, um, I, I saw several posts, Oh, my business is tanking. You know, I do all toys and I, Amazon won't let me send them in. So pivot, you know, send them yourself or look for new products. New products. It may be a temporary pivot, but, um, be willing to adjust with, because life is not perfect. <laughs> We're in an example of that. Yeah, as we not. all know right now, plenty of bad news yeah. in the headlines. And, and I would argue, kind of like you always heard, I, don't, I, I heard multiple times when I had a good job, the best time to be job searching is when you have a great job. Right. The best time to be pivoting is when everything's working. So you were on that. It was a bit of a hamster wheel, but it was producing some nice results of scanning barcodes, coming home right. empty sometimes, coming home with a nice excited load other times. It was a bit of a roller coaster. But you guys... You guys pivoted away from that, but you didn't wait till it crashed. You pivoted right. while it was working and yeah. you found an easier way, far less work, higher margins, more predictable. You can kind of chart your growth and you can kind of, you know what it takes, what levers you got to pull to, to, to move the machine forward. Um, right. You're doing a brilliant job of it. That's some great advice. Never stop learning. I love it. How about you, Kim? The other, the other thing that I would just encourage is don't be afraid to try selling a, a wide variety of product. Don't get stuck that you just want to sell one type of product. People ask, what, what do we sell? And we say anything, everything. Whatever sells. <laughs> Whatever sells. You know, if we find it and it sells, we, don't, we may not even know what it is. But hey, <laughs> if it sells and people like it, then that's great. We'll sell it. There's, so only, it's, there's it's only one great. reason a product sells. And that's because someone really, really wanted it yeah. worse than the price tag that's on it. So you're serving right. them well. It doesn't matter what you're selling. Sales is always a virtuous activity. As long as it's not an illegal substance or something dangerous or you've misled somebody, sales is always a virtuous activity. So yeah, I, I love that because to me, I'm thinking you don't have to wait to find something you're passionate about or, and that you're interested in. I think that's, that's borderline terrible advice in my opinion. Not that it's bad to find a niche that you're passionate about, but you don't have to wait for that when the whole world's saying, hey, we want green beans, get into green beans, right? I mean, right. stuff's moving off the shelf and you can help people out and help them stay home, stay safe and, and not have to drive out through, you know, murder hornets to get their food. Hey, <laughs> yeah, you're serving well. So let's help them out. Uh, great yeah. stuff, guys. Really, really great. I've got to cut this episode off. I'm, I'm getting ready to roll out of here, run some errands for my wife, but it's truly been a pleasure hanging out with you guys. And any, any parting thoughts to the listening audience before we, before we land this plane today? If you haven't already invested in the PAT course, do it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this episode is sponsored by provenamazoncourse.com. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. Yeah. yeah. yeah just get, just get and started. Don't, and don't know? just purchase it and leave it sitting on the shelf. Tap into it. Yeah. Take right. the give, time. Give it a few you know? hours. You don't have to, it's a lot of information. It's kind of like Netflix. It's like, whoa, I got a lot of stuff I could do here. No, one or two modules in, you're going to be putting money in the bank if you do the yeah. work. Yeah. And you just be growing from Absolutely. there. Yeah. Definitely. We Great agree stuff. with that. All right. Well, I'm going to talk to the listeners now. God bless all the business building warriors out there hanging out with us today. It was really cool getting to know these guys. Uh, just another couple of great people from our community at this point, 57,000 ish. Great people hanging out in our Facebook group, a whole lot more watching our stuff online, listening to our podcast and, and uh, enjoying our content virtually around the world. We love doing this. We love serving. We're very open-handed and, and we love sharing the success. Hopefully you're inspired today. Go to silentgym.com to get into our free Facebook group or get more information about this show, the links, anything that we talked about today. It's all in the show notes, of course. But God bless the business building warriors out there. We are in your corner. We're rooting for you. We're here for you. You can do this. This, this stuff works. And we'll have another great episode for you real soon. <laughs>